Hi everyone. I'm going to show you from start to finish how you can locate an image, resize it, and then upload it to your global navigation menu. This is part of the new Blackboard Service Pack 10 where we have a Blackboard profile. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have a nice picture available. And I'm going to actually go and open uh, my computer where I have some pictures stored. I'm going to go over here and go into my libraries where the pictures are. And I have a picture here available. Okay, so I just need to locate it. Here's my picture. And I want to crop it and resize it because Basically, the dimensions are 560 by 800, and that's a little bit too big for Blackboard. They like 150 by 150 pixels. So I'm going to show you how you can actually resize that very easily with a free program from Microsoft Office. If you have the Office, it's called the Microsoft Picture Editor. So I'm going to just right-click on this, and I'm going to go over here to Open With, and notice I have the Microsoft Office Picture Manager that I'm going to click on. And so my picture should open in this program. There I am. And there's other things you can do besides just cropping and resizing. So you might want to take a look at this and see um, what else you can do. But if you click on Edit Pictures, you'll notice a panel drops down. And what you can do here is you can take a look at some of these things that you might want to do. But I'm, for um, purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to resize this picture. I think it's cropped fine. So here I look at the original size. Now I can have a predefined size and height. So this email small 160 by 160 that's a pretty good size. So I think I might select it just to save some time. I could um, resize it custom wise and um, make it proportionally smaller but if I have 160 by 160 option I think that's going to be fine. So now I've selected that with the predefined width and height and I'm going to come over here and click OK. So you see how small my picture has um, just gotten. So now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to save as because I might want to keep my original size just in case this doesn't work out for me. So it's already called Melissa Pro Melissa's profile. So I'm just going to say small or something that's going to um, be a different name than the original. And I'm going to click on save. And now after I've saved, I can close this program. It will ask me, do I want to save the changes? I'm going to say don't save because what they mean is save the changes to the original. And as I said before, you may want to go back and crop or do something else. So I'm going to say no, I don't want to save. That means I'm going to have two pictures, my original profile and the one that I resized. Okay, now I'm ready to close this program and I'm in Blackboard. I've already logged in and I'm going to go up here to where my name is. I'm the test student for uh, demonstration purposes. So I'm going to click on my name. The global navigation menu drops down and if I click on this little icon um, edit my Blackboard profile a page will open up And there you see it. I can change my profile here. So if I want to change the picture, which I do because I don't want the blank icon or in the case of um, using a Blackboard profile, they refer to it many times in many places as an avatar. So I'm going to click on this change picture button. Notice a little dialog box opens. I'm going to select upload new. And now it's going to open up my dialog box and I'm going to locate the picture that I just resized. Here it is. I'm going to select it, click on open. It may take a minute. Uh, notice I can resize it a little bit here and I can move this slightly. Because it's 160 by 160, it's going to um, constrain it to that and then um, 
it doesn't really allow me to do too much to stretch it that way so I if I'm not happy with this I can cancel and then I can also bring up another picture that might be a little bit bigger this is why I mean it's important sometimes to save that original so let's see if maybe I just click on zero here let's see what happens and then I'm going to click on change picture. I'm going to see if I like that. Oh, it cut my chin off a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go back. This can happen sometimes. And I'm going to select the picture, see how it takes me back to that one. And I can just move the binding box down just slightly. It's always better to cut off the top of your head than the bottom of your chin. Okay, so that's okay. I'm going to click on change picture and there the picture is popped in. Now something else you can do here is you can give a little information about yourself and since I'm not studying anything I'm just going to say um, I am a student at Columbia College. And you can give a little bit of information about yourself and then over here there's some privacy options so if you want the institution to see your profile and share it with others at the YCCD district you can if you want to remain private it will just be shared with your classmates now these profile pictures will show up in threaded discussions blogs journals and wikis so it's a really nice way to be able to see your fellow classmates Okay, so I've put enough information. I'm going to keep it private that I only, only want to share it with my profile with my classmates. And then I'm going to come down here, uh, make sure your primary email is correct. It, it usually is defaulted to the correct email. And then I'm going to click on Submit. Oh, well, it's saying that because I'm already a student. Um, I already have another profile so I'm just going to put another email here and then I'm going to click on submit and it says a verification email has been sent to your email address please check your email and then click on the verification link provided in order to complete the verification so I am going to click on OK and then I'm going to see that it goes back to my entry page before I click into my classes. Okay, so I hopefully, hopefully that's easy for you to be able to do. You can always come to the ITC, the Instructional Technology um, Center. We're located in the Tamarack Hall. We can help you. Some students have actually taken a picture on their iPhone and sent it, sent it to them via email. And then you can download it from there and make some corrections and edits and, and um, whatever you need to do before you feel comfortable uploading it to your profile. But I do want to show you one more thing before I close this tutorial. I'm going to go into one of the classes that I'm a student in. I'm going to show you what that picture will look like. So here I am. Here's my picture. Now, if I'm participating in a blog, journal, wiki, or threaded discussion and someone pick, clicks on my picture, let's see if I can find something here. The great thing about it is I will be able to see a little, um, it's almost like a little um, dialog box that pops up and you can read more information about that fellow classmate or instructor. See? Now that's my um, profile as a distance education coordinator. And so see how this little pop-up appears? Let's go over here to um, another instructor, Karen Rods. So a really nice touch for being able to make those connections in your class with your fellow classmates, with your instructors, is to get to know each other a little bit better and a picture always helps. So thank you very much. I hope this has helped you today to successfully upload a picture avatar to your Blackboard profile. Thank you.